Hey guys, Sandy here, and welcome to Follow a Sketch February. Today I am going to be using this sketch from Page Maps. Now this is a, a background that I created for a challenge for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Your, the challenge was to use at least three colors of paint and only a paper towel to create a mixed media background. So I did that, and I have this uh, Christmas Eve kind of photo shoot photo from last year that I'm going to use. So let's see what I can do. Now I'm just showing you a little bit of how I made this background. Uh, as I said, this was a challenge for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club to create a mixed media background with paint and only a paper towel. Now I took six different colors of paint, basically dotted around the background and used my paper towel to go ahead and create the background. Now I used three different greens and three different blues. And then I just kind of patted my paper towel all over the paper until I really had kind of this abstract background. And I really like this background, even though I had no idea really what I was going to uh, scrapbook. I knew that I would probably uh, keep it like this. I wouldn't cut it down. I knew that I would kind of do my uh, photo across the edge of it. And then I found the sketch and I was like, oh my goodness, this background that I made is perfect for the sketch. The only thing I have to do is flip it. So basically in the sketch where it's white space is where I have my mixed media. And then where the pattern is, it's where it's going to be the white space. And I think that that is a great way to kind of maybe take a different approach to a sketch. Um, when you see pattern, don't put the pattern there. Put the solid there. And where you see solid, put the pattern. Uh, that way you get a completely different look. Now I went ahead and pulled out this blue, pink, fresh Christmas paper. I absolutely love this Christmas paper. I think it is gorgeous, uh, but I do kind of have a hard time uh, scrapbooking blue for Christmas. Uh, I really do like scrapbooking traditional red green Christmas pages. It just makes me happy. It's definitely my jam. My December projects are always traditional Christmas colors. It's just what I like. Now I do enjoy scrapbooking other colors with my Christmas pages and my regular layouts, uh, but I knew that I would struggle with this a little bit, so I decided to go with this page uh, since I already had the blue and the green. Now I am playing around with these frames because at first I think I'm going to use this dark blue frame and then I think oh, it's such a similar color. Maybe I should use the light blue frame and I'm just trying to move stuff around and really just figure out what the heck I'm going to do uh, because I am following the sketch but I am kind of deviating a little bit from it. Uh, I honestly you guys usually following a sketch exactly is a little bit of a struggle for me. I like to go rogue. I like to do my own thing. I like to do my own spin and my own twist on things. Um, I do the same thing in layout classes. I change stuff. Um, I don't want a copy of what somebody else has created. I want to alter it a little bit and make it mine. Uh, now see, this is where I pulled in that light blue frame. And I'm thinking about bringing in this light blue and gold six by six pattern paper. However, it doesn't work. It is not the uh, match. It's too much of that baby blue and gold in one place. So I'm thinking that I really like this green dotted paper. It coordinates with the green from the mixed media. It looks really good with this navy blue frame. And I'm like, what am I going to do? Because I really like the way this looks. Now, originally I was going to uh, cut this into a banner and have the banner at the bottom, which is why uh, you can see me putting that middle uh, hash mark on the paper. But then I decided, you know what, I'm going to make this into a tag. I'm going to follow the sketch a little bit more and make it into a tag. So I mark uh, some lines, just trim them, and voila, we have a tag. I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to it 
and tuck it up underneath of the photo. And then I'm going to put my frame on top of that. And I figure I need to adjust the tag placement a little bit. I got to adjust the photo. I got to make it just right. Now I don't want to cover up any of us in the photograph, but I don't mind covering up the outside. We are kind of framed in anyway. So all of that extra stuff is just that extra stuff. Don't need to have it. You don't need to see it. So now I'm thinking I've got to fill this frame and what am I going to fill it with? Um, while I'm trying to figure that out, I figure where I'm going to put this little label because I pulled that out originally and really wanted to make sure that it made it onto the layout and it does. So that's a good thing. I go into my six by six paper stash again and pull out the December skies paper pad from tonic. Now this is a white kind of textured paper. It almost feels a little fabricy. So I trim that down so that it'll fit uh, underneath of my frame and I'm just going to layer that up over top of the tag. And then you can see that the label has found its forever home and I'm gonna go ahead and place that down. Now I'm going to use kind of this hard felt snowflake as a border right here. And then even though my tag doesn't have a hole, so I don't have a naked tag hole, I do have a naked tag. And as you guys know, the naked stuff doesn't work on my layouts. So I grab some embroidery floss and I tie a bow into it and glue it to where a tag hole would be on the tag with my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. Now I am going back to this pink, fret, pink fresh chipboard and just trying to figure out where I want these two little pieces to go uh, because I want to add just a tiny bit of decoration over on this side. I decide ultimately to put it on top of this pattern paper uh, with my original idea on the photo, but I just felt like it looked a little bit better right here. Now I'm going to take that uh, deluxe adhesive and I'm going to dot it all over the felted snowflakes and it's just going to give the snowflake some sticky so that I can put it down over top of the page. So I get that down there and I think that that is a good division between the mixed media and the white at the top of the page. And then of course there's a little bit of paint that made it up there and I'm okay with that. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. But now I'm looking at this and I'm like, Ugh, I need more embellishment. I'm definitely not exactly following the sketch. I've already switched up where the white space and the pattern is. And now I'm just like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I go and I look through some thickers and I look through some letters and I'm like, what am I going to do? I really like that sparkly gold that was on that word yay, but yay doesn't really look good in that frame. And I think that that's where my title is going to go. I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning that direction that that is where the title is going to go. I end up finding these kind of pink fresh enamel uh, type titles and there is one that says the reason why and the green is such a perfect match for the green on this layout. So I go ahead and put that down over top of the frame and at first I think I'm going to bring in this blue heart but I really don't like it. I like it much much better with the green but I'm trying to get that blue heart in there anyway and you know, I just can't do it. It can't stay on there, I'm not a fan. I'm like, yeah, this is looking good, um, but maybe I should bring in the sparkly heart. And I'm like, yes, the sparkly heart uh, is better. I'm bringing in a little bit more gold on the layout. It's kind of lighting it up, freshening it up a little bit. So I add the sparkly gold arrow and that's just giving me a little bit of decoration down there. I tried to bring in this banner and no place where I put it did it look good. It just didn't. Like every place I'm putting it, I'm like, what are you doing, Sandy? This is terrible. So that goes back into the sticker sheet. Um, I grabbed this little asterisk and put that down there just because I'm liking the sparkle. I like the sparkle on this layout. I think that it looks really good. I nestle the heart, the bottom of the heart in between these snowflakes and I add another heart to it. I'm like, yes, I'm liking this so much. 
playing around with a couple more glitter hearts just to figure out where they should go and what it looks like. And every place I really put it, I wasn't too happy with it. Uh, I did like the open heart better here where my title was. I just felt it looked better. And I think that that is going to do it after I drop a little bit of journaling down. So this was at work. We had a little fun Christmas Eve kind of photo shoot. Um, I scrapbooked some of the photos. We just had a lot of fun, a lot of great photos. So I'll probably do another page or two and that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you again real soon for another video.